Atlas 2 games, we really try and take what's meaningful and great about games and deliver that to everybody. So with Monument Valley, we make people care about a character for the first time if they've never really engaged with games very much. And with Albro Wildlife Adventure, we took open world games and packaged that into a kind of theme about saving an island that more people are going to want to engage with than just the hardcore. And with this game, what we really want to do is take these genres that we really love, like roguelike games and turn-based tactics, add a little bit of sports game in there as well, and themes about dreams and conflicting fears, and really package that together into something that feels really unique. In the game, you play the role of Desta, who's a young person in their early 20s, who's coming home for the first time, having not left home in the, the very best way, their relationship with their mother and their family and their friends. There's a few of them that were a little bit broken, and they were broken because they didn't really have the words to say. And their father, who used to be a big part of their life, unfortunately passes away, and they don't have those tools and that person to lean on to, to bridge that gap. So they manage to go home, they find this old ball they used to play with their dad, and when they try and fall asleep with it, they find themselves in a world between worlds, neither asleep nor awake. And when they're in this, they can explore these moments, these memories, and solve these creative problems through a, through a ball game. And when they do that, they find the right words to say to confront these people. The people we're going to be meeting in Desta's dreams are people who were significant to Desta before they left town a couple of years back. And there are lots of people they don't know quite as well, too, and some people who have been shaped by Desta's impression of them in their dreams. But they've all had a profound impact on Desta's life. These characters are really interesting because all of them are interwoven as part of Desta's story, but also with each other. They don't just appear as abstractions, but they really feel like a part of the makeup of Desta's background. One way or another, the people that Desta meets throughout the game help Desta become who they are today. And they've taught Desta a number of different things, like standing up for themselves, taking risks, expressing themselves, and more. There are a few different themes in the story, but I would say that certainly loss is a big part of it. Finding yourself, courage and perseverance, and reawakening. No pun intended. It feels like we've been able to put a lot of our, ourselves into Desta. Um, the same is true for pretty much all of our games, but Desta in particular is very personal to a lot of the members of the team. Um, I'm sure we can all relate to some of the themes of maybe having ghosted a friend and not being sure how you could like get back in touch with them or dwelling over how you might have said something in a conversation and like having that play over and over in your mind, which is like one of the core themes of the game. It's definitely got more depth and more game mechanics than anything we've made before, and it's being designed from the ground up to be a multi-platform title. We're really looking forward to telling you more about Desta, the memories between in the coming weeks and the coming months.